Hi, my name is Yasmin Robles with Robles Designs, and today I am going to be chatting with you about testimonials, how they fit into your site, how to gather them, and yes, I'm excited about this one. I've been getting questions about how to use testimonials and if you should be getting them through your website. Um, before that, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Robles Design Studio. You can find a bunch of freebies and more information about me at RoblesDesigns.com. And right now we have, I just launched a free uh, website planning guide. So if you are starting your site or completely pivoting it, uh, pivoting your business right now, this is great. I simplified it as much as I could. And there's a video and a PDF and it just walks you through how to get organized before you start the website because we all know that if you don't plan ahead of time, you spend three times as long creating the stuff. So make sure you check out that freebie and let me know how it goes. So let's dive in. Testimonials are great on your site. They offer social proof. Um, so let's think of it as your site, you say you, it's basically you saying you're awesome. So you're saying, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. Here are the services that I offer. Here's my awesome bio. Here's my awesome offering. And within those, you want to sprinkle in uh, some testimonials of other people saying that you're awesome. So for example, let's say you have your hero section, which if you have been listening to some other videos of mine, you know that it's the topmost section of the website. So it's right as soon as your browser loads, um, whatever you see, that is the hero section without scrolling. Um, so let's say you have an amazing hero section, a beautiful headshot maybe, it's a, a headline, a button, then you'll want to go and right below that possibly uh, put a testimonial in. And they don't have to be long, they can be short testimonials, they could, um, if, if they're great if you have a photo of the client um, or if you have um, even better a video of them giving a video testimonial of you, for you. Um, so, but if it's just a text, one that you grabbed off of your Google My Business page. Watch my other videos to learn about Google My Business pages. But maybe you just copied and pasted it off of there. So you can just stick it in there. And then, so the new pattern now, if you sprinkle them throughout, would be um, awesome headline, uh, why I'm awesome. Sorry, I'm awesome. Uh, another person thinks I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Another per person thinks I'm awesome. Here's some blog posts. Here's another person who thinks I'm awesome. And so you're creating a pattern of not just you saying that you're great, but other people also backing you up on it. Um, where to gather testimonials or how to gather them. A lot of clients do have a page with a form for people to leave testimonials, which is great. Um, that actually, that works really nicely, especially if you wanna get them directly to you. But I recommend actually getting those testimonials on something like Google My Business. I like Google My Business. I don't send people to my Facebook page to leave testimonials because I, if Facebook ever leaves or disappears, all of my testimonials are gone. But I, I, I mean, same thing with Google, but still the Google My Business page, I like having it because if, especially if you are location based, you can, let's, I ran, I hit a deer one time and um, I was looking for an auto body shop. I never even went on their site. I actually saw all of the reviews on their Google My Business page. I read through them. They were great reviews. They had all their information up to date. I called them straight from that page. I booked the appointment, everything through Google My Business. Um, so, and then I never went on their site, which their site needs some support, but um, I never went on their site at all. It was all done, all my research and everything was done through Google and Google My Business versus their competition who had less reviews and some of them, they didn't respond to the, the um, not so great reviews. So make sure you have the Google uh, Google My Business page um, and that's where you can collect all your testimonials. So when you finish a project or finish a session with someone, you can always then send them a link, a thank you email and send them a link to that page so that they can then also leave their review for you. If they are not comfortable with leaving the review, um, they can just email it to you. Um, but that is how I, I typically um, request reviews. I know you can request them through your site, like I said before, through a form. You can ask for reviews from via Facebook um, or just via email. But I really like having that on Google My Business because you can then, anyone who's Googling or searching for your services can then see it, even if they've never heard of you. Um, 
so that's that's my take on it let me know what you your thoughts are on testimonials and how to put them on your site uh and all that great stuff again video testimonials are one of the greatest things ever um below that would be a photo of the person with your testimonial and then below that would be just a text testimonial um if you create products so maybe one of one of a kind products um then you could have a picture of that product that you created for them next to the testimonial as well that is it for this video let me know what you your thoughts are on testimonials what your questions are and i will catch you in the next video make sure that you follow me on instagram facebook youtube uh and then you check out my website robustdesigns.com all right i'll see you in the next video bye